Welcome to Unit 2. New unit, new sweater. So let's get started. Just like Unit 1 had a theme, and that was the 60 commonly used verbs, uh, Unit 2 has a theme as well, and that's your daily, weekly, monthly routine. Learning to talk about the activities that we do, uh, learning to, to express time and therefore tell at what time we do those activities on such and such a day, and then learning to talk about the sequencing of activities using terms such as before, after, tomorrow, yesterday, in two weeks, etc. So whereas that's the primary theme of Unit 2, you'll also learn to talk about, uh, to express questions in a more sophisticated manner using interrogatives. Who, how, what, where, why, when, how many, and how much. You'll, you'll learn as well how to um, render your sentences a little more nuanced by adding what are called modals. Can, could, may, might, should, etc. And then last of all, numbers, which you know I think to this point up to 99 or 100, if, if I remember correctly, uh, you'll be able to go as high as you probably ever care to, to go as, as far as saying numbers is concerned uh, in, in this unit. But the most important element in this, uh, in this unit really even more important than the vocabulary dealing with your, your routine um, is you're moving into, you're transitioning into the ability to read the language as well as just to speak and to understand speech. Now learning to read in a more, very elementary fashion initially uh, passes through, we start with the, the whole area of phonics. Phonics has to do with the sounds that certain letters and combinations of letters make in the language that you're learning. And so after the first two lessons in which you'll learn the interrogatives, who, how, what, where, why, etc., we'll begin uh, with a series of lessons uh, in which you're going to be presented with the alphabet, first of all, and then you'll be presented with the, the, the phonics, the sounds that letters and combinations of letters make, before you do options, one of two options uh, as far as readings are concerned. You have a chance, or your classroom teacher, or you if you're an independent study student, have the chance to choose between content of a more generic nature dealing with a fictional American family living in France called the Richardsons. Uh, any resemblance between that particularly dysfunctional family and mine, strictly coincidental. The second option uh, deals with biblical content. Uh, you can choose to read about uh, the, the story of, of creation moving on through the Old Testament and into the New Testament eventually as the, as the chapters go by or the units go by. Um, uh, is your second option for reading. Or you could conceivably, depending upon the kind of a school you're located in, you could conceiv conceivably do both types of reading. Now incidentally, for those of you who are studying Spanish, you'll note that in the course of Unit 2 I'll begin dropping, on, on most occasions, the personal pronouns. Instead of hearing, for example, uh, yo vivo en el campo, you'll hear simply vivo en el campo, the yo or the tu or the el or the ella will be dropped. So bear that in mind, since you know that in most cases it's really not necessary to use them. Well, I think that's it. Uh, time for us to get started. We're going to get started with interrogatives in Lessons 2.1 and 2.2. So at this point you can uh, move from this video back to the, the details as to the activities you are to do in today's class, class number 82, if I remember correctly. And uh, we'll look at Lesson 2.1. See you soon.